What's going on guys? So I've gotten a lot of questions lately about whether or not I got rid of Android and switched over to a Roku stick in my truck and uh, the answer to that question is yes. Um, that's what I switched over to now. Uh, let me just give you a little quick look of what uh, what it looks like now hooked up. And, you know if you've seen my other videos you've seen the little HDMI converter I have in here. So we have our HDMI converter which I actually bought a different one. Uh, it's just black. Um, but the Roku, it actually powers the Roku over HDMI, so there's no need for the micro USB power adapter for the Roku stick. So it's connected in there as usual, and I, doing it this way, I could still hook up the Android device if I wanted to, because I still have my audio video port uh, on the switch with this 3.5 millimeter jack. So I could actually plug that into the Android stick, and then I have a loose usb cable here that could go into the android stick as well so i could power the android stick with this i could provide video with this and another input on my switch could be my android stick so i could have my android stick hooked up and i could have the roku hooked up at the same time i don't have that hooked up right now i'm actually in the process of maybe looking for a better android stick one that's just newer a little faster but you know here's the um the Roku hooked up. Uh, the biggest thing about the biggest difference between this and the Android stick is the simplicity of operating this device with this remote. Now, I could operate the Android stick with my phone using the um, RK control for RK processors, but this is so much easier. I mean, you just come in here, and I am using my phone uh, mobile hotspot for Wi Fi, obviously. Um, for those of you that have an Android device, Foxfi, F O X F I is an app that can provide your phone free wireless tethering, or should. I won't say it works on all phones, but it should for most phones. I'm on Verizon. Um, I don't use Fox 5. My phone's rooted and all that. But but that does work on phones that aren't rooted as well. So Fox 5 is a great app. Um, I would recommend you use that. But anyway, this is uh, the Roku stick. Uh, as you can see, I got some of the things I use. Plex, uh, Pandora, Time Warner Cable, Netflix. So you just come in here, fire up whatever you want to watch, um, you know, and I will say this about the Roku stick. Um, I wish they'd come out with a little bit newer version. Uh, this is a little bit, a little bit on the slow side at times. Um, but once you get something running one time, it's pretty quick getting back into it. Like this is Netflix here. If you wanted to watch Netflix, um, go back home. Uh, most of the time I'm in a Time Warner cable TV app because that's just, you know, what I'm doing. And if I'm watching something in my truck. Usually it's going to be a sports or, you know, some type of game or something. So I'm using Time Warner Cable and I have it filtered by sports. So when I go look at the channel list, it's going to be nothing but sports. So that's what I'm usually watching. Uh, and I will show you while that Time Warner Cable is loading up. Um, you know, I'm in park now. But if I put it in drive, come over here, hit full screen. That's my bypass switch working there. So. So this is a, obviously around the horn on ESPN. Uh, let me cut it down some. And as you can see, it's really nice quality. Uh, it's like HD. Uh, but if you hit left on the on the arrow thing, you can bring up all your channels. Um, so I mean, you can filter it by sports or whatever you want to do. Uh, so right now it's filtered in the sports section. I have no idea why that EHD channel is on there when I have it filtered by sports. But anyway, um, that's just Time Warner Cable TV running uh, on the Roku in my truck. Uh, works pretty well. Um, you know, you can kind of jump around, look at a guide, whatever you want to do. It's just like watching it at your house. Um, the one limitation I will say about the Roku stick, besides the fact that it's slightly slow, I wish they'd come out with a newer version, is that it does not have a dedicated Sling Player app. You can cast from the Sling Player app on your phone to it, but it does not have a dedicated Sling Player app built for it. I wish it did, because one of the limitations of the Time Warner Cable TV app is if you're in a bad mobile network area if you're on 3g sometimes it does not pick up as good as a sling player would uh, the sling player app seems to function better in low network areas but man if you're in 4g like i am sitting right here the time warner cable tv is the way to go i mean look at the picture man it's like watching hd at your house so i just wanted to give an update there i am looking at different options now that i have the ability to do hdmi 
and I can charge my micro or mini USB. So really it's just all about finding a device. I've been looking at those mini Intel PCs uh, that run all HDMI, finding maybe a better Android stick. Um, I'd really like for them to come out with a better Roku stick. But I mean, this works fine, don't get me wrong. This will function for anything you need. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, and I hadn't showed this, I said I was in the last video, but you know, it's, it's working really well. So if you wanna do it, and this is one of my favorite shows, PTI. If you wanna do it, I suggest you go ahead and do it. I mean, it functions great, thanks.